Hello, I'm Michael Lambert. I'm the Associate Director with responsibility for the U.S. Currency Program at the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve System consists of the Board of Governors right here in Washington, D.C., and 12 district banks. Currency to us means the physical banknotes. It's, it's the actual, some people call the bills, we call them notes. Currency is the actual physical piece of paper that we, the Federal Reserve Board, issue to the public. So today we're, we're sitting in the boardroom at, at the Federal Reserve Board. And our job at, here at the board is to decide how much a currency that, that, that the public is going to need, to order it from the bureau, and then we issue it by shipping it to the reserve banks. So it's through the banks, both the Federal Reserve Banks and the nation's banks, that we make our currency available to the public. The Federal Reserve Board is the issuing authority, so that gives us the legal authority to turn the pieces of paper that the Bureau of Engraving and Printing produces into lawful money. I'm Len Oliart, Deputy Director of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. I make sure that we're printing the currency that is needed to meet the Federal Reserve's demand. I love the fact that we are producing something that touches Americans every day of their life. This is Brian Thompson, one of the designers at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. Design of currency is done with a very specific purpose in mind. We want to reflect the stability and security of the American economy. In looking at the designers, they are people who have a very high level of artistic talent because they're bringing in the artistic elements to the notes as well as the counterfeit deterrent features that we're adding to the note. And they need to blend it together to make it a beautiful artistic element. Once the designers finish it, it has to go to the engravers. The portrait engravers and the, all the engravers face a significant challenge because they are working in reverse. What you see him doing here is using a tool called a graver to etch out the steel from a plate. He is using a series of dots, dashes, and lines to create a three-dimensional image that will give the touch and feel that is distinctive to United States currency. The, the engraver makes a single image and it is replicated either in a 32 or a 50 note plate. The plates are all nickel, but in order for them to last in production and be smooth for ink wiping, they are dipped in chrome for a short period of time as well, and that gives them a much harder surface, so they will last for up to a million impressions. What we have here is an actual $100 working plate. This is one of the plates that will be hung on the press to produce the $100 note. You'll see that the hundred is backwards and all the script is reversed. In the printing, there's several stages for the colorized note that starts with offset printing. And at the offset printing process, the color is printed on the note at the same time on the face and the back of the note. And then in the impaleo process with the plates, the plates are hung on a press and the press presses the paper and the ink together such that the paper embeds in the divots in the plate and picks up the ink. That's what gives the United States currency its unique feel. You can feel that raised image that comes from the high pressure in the intaglio process. Intaglio gives us a three-dimensional note and that's an important security feature. We know that it's gonna take us approximately two weeks from start to finish to produce a note. The ink takes a while to dry between each of the stages, and if you don't give the ink a chance to dry, you'll see smudges on the work and defects. The notes are stacked in those bundles of 100, bundled together to create a brick, and that brick then goes on a pallet, which is again shrink wrap. And the notes are stored here in Washington, D.C., and in Fort Worth, we have an on-site storage vault for the Federal Reserve until they call for shipment. Approximately 90% of what we're producing replaces unfit or worn notes that are taken out of circulation. Every one of those notes is being interrogated as it moves through that belt. The, the Federal Reserve has machines that authenticate and uh, check the quality of the currency that they get back from banks and deposits. So this would be a branch that would have one high-speed sorting machine 
that would receive currency from circulation. They'd process that through to make sure it's both genuine and fit for recirculation. And if it's fit for recirculation, they package it and put it back out into circulation. If it's unfit, it's destroyed. And if it's questionable about whether it's genuine, it's shipped off to the Secret Service. And our job there is to make sure that not only are we meeting the demand from the public, but we're also providing them with a banknote that's secure, safe and secure. Thank you.